I was born into a hard-working middle-class family. My parents toiled endlessly to provide a comfortable lifestyle for me and my siblings. Witnessing their tireless efforts and sacrifices inspired me to work hard too, in order to achieve my dream of becoming a surgeon one day. I studied diligently through my medical training, although the grueling exam periods were the most difficult. I survived by drinking copious amounts of coffee just to stay awake and keep studying. During one late night coffee run in med school, I serendipitously met a girl named Linda. We immediately bonded over our mutual reliance on coffee and she gave me her phone number. But with exams, I forgot to contact her for weeks. After exams ended, I finally reached out to Linda. We met for coffee where we had first connected. Conversation came easily and we began dating. Our relationship progressed smoothly, likely because we were both medical students. I was a year ahead of Linda in school. After graduation, I became a neurosurgeon and Linda became a physician. I was ready to take our relationship to the next level, so I meticulously planned an elaborate proposal for Linda. When I popped the question, she was moved to tears and happily accepted. Shortly after, we got married and relocated to Canada to start our new life together. I was elated with how everything was going. My only desire now was to have a child, but Linda wanted to focus on advancing her medical career first. In Canada, through some new friends, I reconnected with Robert, my best friend from high school. I introduced Linda to Robert and his wife Jessica. The four of us hit it off, especially Linda and Jessica. But after a period of happy adjustment in Canada, I noticed Linda spending more evenings out with Jessica. I started feeling neglected as she came home later and later. One day Linda told me, she had to go to the movies with Jessica. I came home that night and Linda still had not returned. I called her several times, but she did not answer. I started to get worried, so I decided to call Jessica since she was with Linda. Jessica answered the phone and greeted me. I asked her to tell Linda to pick up my phone. She said Linda was not with her. I told her that Linda was supposed to go to the movies with her, but Jessica said that they hadn't made that plan. This was suspicious and disturbing. I was still thinking about what to do next when the doorknob turned and Linda entered the house. She came over and hugged me and said hello. I kissed her back and asked how the movie went. Linda said that she and Jessica enjoyed it very much and that they had a great time. I gave her a look but said nothing. Linda was lying to me, and I needed to know why. What on earth was she hiding from me, and where had she been all this time? Linda asked me if I had eaten dinner, and I said that I had eaten it earlier with Mary, my coworker. Linda rolled her eyes, and said she was going to the bathroom. She never approved of me hanging out with a girlfriend, and I always respected that. When Linda went to the bathroom, I quickly snuck into her phone. I had to find out what was going on. I looked at the texts and saw that the last person she had texted was Robert. Their conversation horrified me. Linda had been with Robert, not Jessica. She was cheating on me with my best friend. I took some screenshots to prove it and sent them to myself. The next morning I called Jessica and asked her to meet me. I told her it was urgent and not to tell Robert. We met in a cafe that evening. I told her to get ready for what I was going to tell her. I showed her the screenshots I had taken of Linda's phone. She started to cry. She said that Robert had been absent a lot lately. He had told her that he was busy at work and she had never suspected anything else. She trusted him blindly, just as I trusted Linda. We sat there for a long time and decided that we would get our revenge together. I told her to think hard and let me know if she had any ideas. 
she randomly suggested that Robert is a very jealous and possessive husband. He would be very hurt if he found out that Jessica had cheated on him. That struck me Linda is that kind of woman. She gets jealous right away. She would lose her mind if I cheated on her. I said I'd think about it, and we'd talk about it later. I went home and thought about it all day. I decided it was the perfect revenge, and I should definitely do it. The next day, Jessica and I met at a hotel. We had revenge sports, and it was actually good. You know what I mean? I had a good time. We took pictures, we took a lot of pictures and a lot of different poses and positions. We all looked happy. We sent those pictures to both Robert and Linda. We both talked to lawyers and filed for divorce as soon as I sent those pictures. Linda called me. She was screaming on the other end of the phone. I wondered why she was so shameless. She had done worse and blamed me endlessly. She called me the worst things. I wanted to do the same to her, but I knew it was not worth it. I just ended the call without saying a word. I left her house for good and moved in with my parents until the divorce was final. I met Robert once and punched him in the face. I expected him to retaliate and hit me back but he did not. He just walked away. It seemed like he wasn't really ashamed of what he had done. But he deserved that slap more than anything. After the divorce, I looked at my life differently. I focused on my work more than ever. Keeping busy distracted me from grieving and thinking about my past. Still, it was really hard. The memories kept coming back. I also missed Linda because I had been with her for a long time. But eventually I healed and moved on with my life. 